Holy shit. How are we on 5.7k subscribers? Oh my god, you guys are insane. Suddenly we have 5,000 subscribers, and that is a massive milestone, obviously, so I want to thank you guys so incredibly much. And I guess I have to do something for 5,000 subscribers, so I am opening my clan chat. You guys can join, it's just only trials. Everyone just left, that's pretty sad. If you want to talk to me, make sure to join, and enjoy the episode. Risky journey to charge my Ring of Wealth eye so we can start this episode by getting a hard cliff scroll. We're in 45 or 47 wilderness and apparently if I die with the Ring of Wealth eye, it loses the eye, so the imbue. So I'll have to get a mysterious emblem again. So let's not do that. All right, here we go. Let's see if this thing works. Oh, yes, it works. Within about 300 cannonballs. No, did I take, how many did I take? I don't even remember, but we got a heart clue. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm playing on the uh, regular old school client because Runelight hasn't updated yet. How do you even play without GPU? <laughs> well, do I have a big surprise for you guys. This clue tells us that we have to speak to King Awawogi and we all know where that guy is or that ape. It's not really a guy. Yeah, he's an ape toll. So that means we'll have to complete monkey madness, finally. Problem is I don't have 43 prayer, so it's going to be a bit of a struggle, but I think we can do it. But first, we need to complete the Grand Tree before we can start Monkey Madness. Let's go. I'm already goddamn tired of this stretched mode. Here we go, that's the Grand Tree quest finished! I crapped on an agility XP that I didn't realize. Maybe I get an a level... It's an attack level, not an agility level. Wow, damn, I need a lot of XP. Let's go do Monkey Madness, I guess. But first, wait till this problem with Rune Light is fixed, so I can, uh... Go back to my fixed mode, because I really don't like this stretch thing. Look, half of my screen is just gone. Right, so uh, here we go. That's the hard clue scroll step done. But I'm going to finish the quest though, we're, <laughs> we're almost there. There we go, should be done. Yes! Woo, monkey madness, no prayer, completed. There we go, that should be monkey madness done. Oh my god, that was actually not too tedious, it was actually pretty alright. Now let's pick up the XP. I don't even know where what I'm going to take. I'm just going to um, focus on... Let's do strength and stamina. There we go. Let's continue that uh, clue scroll that we did this for. <laughs> it's going to be another one of these episodes, isn't it? Because this next clue scroll, I have to dig here outside Bergderat, which requires the start of the in aid of the Myriki quest, which requires the in search of the Myriki quest. So I guess we're about to do those quests too. All right, that was actually a struggle. But the in search for the Myrokey quest is done. Now for the in aid of the Myrokey quest. Just fix the bank at Berg the Rot. Now let's go over here, dig up my clue scroll, and continue the quest. Oh, come on. Literally, the biggest problem in this account is killing this guy. I'm probably going to die here, but I'm going to risk it. Yep, there we go. <laughs> God damn it. Well, getting gourmet implings and getting food for the quest, I got an easy clue. This is the casket. And we got some more salmon so we can f actually feed the NPC that's going to help me in the quest. So <laughs> that is pretty useful. And another one. Trash. Yo, I also don't know if I have to be proud or embarrassed of this stack. <laughs> this has to be the most annoying part of the quest. So let's go. Nope. Ivan, you follow me. Oh my god. Dude, he's spamming the food. This guy is saving way too much. Ivan, dude, stop saving, you idiot. Come on, dumbass vampire. Only three more food. How are you so shit, dude? Mm, I hate this part so much. No, no, I was in a good spot. I was in a good spot. Why did I do that? Why did I leave? No, oh, come on. This is awful. Yes, there we go. Nice. He done did it, boys. We done did it. Many thanks for bringing me safely to the temple. Goodbye, my friend. Yes, boys, the quest is over. We're going to hand over the Rod of Evandis. And that should be the quest fin- Dude, come on, finish it. There we go. Damn, that's a lot of XP. Are we actually getting a level? Probably not. Ooh, a defense level. Not too bad. Okay, now we can go and do the clue. How's this one going so well, then? I was struggling real bad last time, and now I can just not use food, really? Oh, oh God, gentlemen, we got the casket. Very nice. Let's just open it right here. Why not? Just a bit of swamp luck. Swamp Lytics luck. The Black Dead body. We got the Black Dead body. Let's go. That's great. That's actually great. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, don't we drop the chaps. What are you doing? Yes, I'm really happy with the Black Dead body. That's something we'll need in the future. By the way, apparently the poll results for the Treasure Trail expansion have been announced and I didn't even get the vote. <laughs> I wasn't home. So let's check, I guess, what's what's happening. Bless the eye shields. All right. Love it. 
Uh, from the killed sure third age druidic set. Wait, what the hell? Okay, great. Okay, reroll is not passing. That's great. That's I love that because that have, that could have single handedly just ruined my account. But <laughs> um, multiple clues the same thing as a cap. Okay, no stackable clues. I guess it's all right. It's it's no problem. So nothing special is going to happen, right, with this update. Oh, stackable caskets are going to be a thing. So that's good. I can complete a clue, keep it into my bank, get another clue. Open five at the same time. That's great. The mimic boss is coming, which is also great. I like boss fights I could just do within the restrictions of my account. Graphical change. Okay, great. And monster scroll book with teleports to Watson. All right. All right. I'm happy with this expansion. That's great. The account is going somewhere now with another update. Yes, that's pretty quick. It's This is going great. I'm so glad I got the ring of wealth eye. And I'm so glad you guys recommended it. Because damn, that was only about... 12 hellhounds? And we got another heart clue. Frankly, I'm just hoping for a clue I can train prayer with, because this is awful. The clues I need to train prayer with are Crozier clues and God Cape clues. That way, I have to train my prayer up to 60. Hopefully, we get that really soon. Next casket total number of hard caskets is 11. And do we get anything? A magic short bow? I don't have that one yet. I can be happy about this shit of a clue. I know. <laughs> it's weird, but a magic short bow is something we don't have yet. And it is actually my best in slot range weapon so far so i'm not complaining back to the hellhounds um i don't know how to bring this to you guys but i think that says enough we got the rune boots requirement already which means i have to get 80 slayer to kill necreals but i figured we just came from a very long clue grind we just had the whole herb lore farming grind and you guys have only seen 11 reward casks so far and to just drag you guys through another endless grind just to see one reward i really can't do that so <laughs> i am actually going to drop this clue it is the first clue in i want to say about 14 episodes that i've dropped no hard feelings i've been thinking about this for an hour like i was really considering the slayer grind but then again as i said i don't want to leave you guys waiting so long for another hard clue casket so, let's forget this ever happened and get a bit of third age. Are you kidding me? First pk -er I've had in a long time. Or no, actually the first pk -er ever. <sighs> I'm actually going to lose my wealth thing. Oh, I have a gap? I have a gap? <laughs> no, 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 I should have taken off this shit. Oh. No, damn it. I'm probably dead. Where am I running to even? I can't teleport. He teleblocked me. I'm never going to be able to escape. Five minutes. Wait, maybe I can maybe I can last for five minutes. What is he doing? Can I log? Wait, what is he doing? What the hell? Why did, why did he come under me? Oh, that was clutch. <laughs> Kidding me, dude. Oh wow. Oh, I guess that's back to Slayer boys. What the f what in the actual shit is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? Oh. Well. So, um... <laughs> well, because I'm not getting my Ring of Wealth back anytime soon because of BKers. I figured we can start the construction grind. You guys gave me the green card to start making clue stashes. So, first up, we have to train our construction till 27. Okay, the tactic for now is trade in all my planks to this guy over here who can unnote my planks. All, oh, dude, come on. Up, then go inside and build a chair over and over again. Because that's this skill. Just get in this chair and do this. And then removing that chair and then do it again. And we'll keep doing that until we're 27 construction. My god, this skill is rapid. 27 in about, you can see it down here, 20 minutes. And I'm really glad I kept all the oak planks from the eclectic implants because these oak planks, let me, let me calculate it. You know what? I have an idea. Here we go. <laughs> we just got 53 construction in one go. I used up all my planks. 53 construction is two construction levels away from 55, which we can use or which we need for the hard clue stashes. Now, those two extra levels from construction will get that over time as we catch more eclectic implings and get oak planks. Plus, I can also boost to 55 with a T from the player-owned house. This is why you guys are subscribed. Massive grinds. You guys saw about 30 seconds of construction. I just grinded 136,000 XP. <laughs> to be fair, it only took two and a half hours or something. So it was pretty all right. I had all the planks. But man, this just proves that uploading on the Wednesday and giving me a bit more time is worth it. 
So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this episode today. Obviously, next episode we're going to put this construction level to the test and we're going to build the stash units. A couple of you guys had the idea that I could only build the stash unit if I get the clue that I need the stash unit for. So, that actually makes a lot of sense, so I'm going to do that. So, next episode we might be grinding a bit more easy and medium clues and obviously the hard clues when I get my ring of wealth back. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to subscribe because a lot of you guys are just watching and not subscribing, so why not subscribe? It's great to be subscribing. The subscribers now. And then I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Or in the clan chat. Look at that. There's already two people in there. Amazing. <laughs>